Geoprocessing environment settings are additional parameters that affect a tool's results. Current workspace. Tools that honor the current workspace environment setting use the workspace specified as the default location for geoprocessing tool inputs and outputs. Scratch workspace. Tools that honor the Scratch workspace environment setting use the specified location as the default workspace for output data sets. The Scratch workspace is intended for output data you do not wish to maintain. The data are about calls hotspot. Here, Hotspot actually means that a small area or region with a relatively more calls in comparison to its surroundings. First, we should check the data projections. If they are not in same projections, then project them in the same projection. For project, you find the tool and data management tools, projection and transformation and then project. Input, the input must be the unprojected shap file which we want to project. Output, we should give output name by which we recognize that is projected. Output coordinate system, we can add coordinate system by importing the other shap files coordinate. We can search the tools in Search Toolbox. It's very easy to use either reminding where is that tool we need to perform. We can copy the projected feature for keeping that for further use. We can work on the copy feature. For copy, we can search as copy features or we can go through data management tools, features and then copy features. Input, that we want to copy. Output, the name of output. Integrates features and feature layers by inserting vertices where line segments cross or where segment endpoints are too close to other segments. Clusters vertices to guarantee a minimum separation between vertices, points, and line segments. Integrate permanently changes the inputs. Integrate does not create new data but, instead, modifies the original input features. If experimenting with this tool, it is recommended to make a backup copy of the inputs. Collect events, converts event data, such as crime.it combines coincident points, it creates a new output feature class containing all of the unique locations found in the input feature class. It then adds a field named account to hold the sum of all incidents at each unique location. This tool will only combine features that have the exact same X and Y centroid coordinates. You may want to use the integrate tool to snap nearby features together prior to running the collect events tool. Incremental spatial autocorrelation measures spatial autocorrelation for a series of distances and optionally creates a line graph of those distances and their corresponding z-scores. 
Z-scores reflect the intensity of spatial clustering, and statistically significant peak Z-scores indicate distances where spatial processes promoting clustering are most pronounced. These peak distances are often appropriate values to use for tools with a distance band or distance radius parameter. This tool can help you select an appropriate distance threshold or radius for tools that have these parameters, such as hotspot analysis or point density. The Incremental Spatial Autocorrelation tool measures spatial autocorrelation for a series of distance increments and reports. For each distance increment, the associated Moran's index, expected index, variance, z score, and p value. Hotspot analysis, get a sort G asterisk, given a set of weighted features, identifies statistically significant hotspots and cold spots using the get a sort G asterisk statistic. This tool identifies statistically significant spatial clusters of high values, hot spots, and low values, cold spots. It creates a new output feature class with a z-score, p-value, and confidence level bin, g underscore bin, for each feature in the input feature class. Inverse distance weighted id interpolation determines cell values using a linearly weighted combination of a set of sample points. The weight is a function of inverse distance. The surface being interpolated should be that of a locationally dependent variable.